Hi, I'm Hindi Becker Dershowitz with NKD Independent School District, and I'm here with one of my teammates from our assistive technology team, Dorinda Gardner. Dorinda Gardner is also a speech pathologist on a, one of our middle school campuses, and we're here to share with you information about CoRider. We've been using CoRider since the very first time CoRider came out, and we've been excited and we've upgraded over the years because we have found it to be very successful with our students and our students who get so excited about it. And we'll let Dorinda share some of the work that she's seen on her campus. I'd like to share with you a few um, samples of some co-writers uh, uh, that the kids have used. Um, we started using co-writer in um, the beginning of the year. I was at a conference in uh, San Antonio in the summer and I got really excited about the co-writers seeing what they were um, you know, using with it, the new version, and I wanted to take it back to my school to my resource teachers. And I have some samples of um, a sixth grader, seventh grader, and eighth grader who are all in resource uh, e re reading in English. And um, the first little girl is a sixth grader, and she is um, labeled autistic. And um, I'm just going to try to hold up a couple samples and see if you can see the difference. This first uh, example is some handwritten journal writing that she did in September. Uh, Co-writer was then introduced and used in a variety of ways with journal writing and then longer uh, essays. And this is an example of her uh, story that she wrote about a garden, Katya's garden. And um, as you can see, there is quite a difference between the handwritten journal writing um, in September and then a longer piece that was written in December. Um, very expressive, a lot of um, even quotations, paragraphs, uh, just a much, much better writing sample. Um, another student is a seventh grader and this is a multiple dis uh, disability child. He has some physical issues, these uh, vision issues, hearing issues, uh, bilateral cleft palate, um, and he is also in our seventh grade resource class. And this is one example of one of his written journal entries, again back in September. And then this is a longer writing piece that was done in December as well. Um, again, just the spacing, the paragraph form, the spelling, um, just quite a, quite a difference from kind of a rambling type piece to a much more put together written um, presentation. Then I have some examples of a, an eighth grader who is learning disabled and has uh, extreme spelling issues um, <clears throat> but loves to write and she would write and write quite significantly but with many many errors and this is an example of one of her handwritten entries and then it was put into the co-writer form and she likes to do the clip art and add clip art to her things so because she was a good writer and liked to write she was able to produce a much more grammatically correct and a good writing sample with, with the co-writer. And she enjoys it. Um, and that's just one of hers. Another one that she did, this is the same type of thing, sort of regular handwritten journal, and then her co-writer example. Again, a much more correct, um, fluid writing sample. She also, decided to write a, a children's book. It was a, just an assignment. And she decided to um, use the co-writer for her children's book. She added in the clip art. And she also took this, her uh, teacher is an ex-life skills teacher, so she kind of encouraged her to make the book and then she also made the icons and used the Velcro and so that life skills could, students could match, you know, the icons to the book. So this, this is, um, you know, a 10-page book that she wrote. She put together. It was in color. 
made the Velcro um, icons, you know, the cardstock icons, to do the matching activity that a younger student would do. And it's just, it's just really, really written well. The creativity is, is amazing, and um, it just, it was a really good experience for her to write something. We put it together in a binder, and um, she was sharing it with some of the life skill students. So um, it's just, it's been an amazing um, transformation because we've seen such a, a change in the handwritten. It even and we go back and forth. Sometimes we'll handwrite it and then do the co-writer. Sometimes they start with co-writer. My teachers have just used it in a variety of ways, and the overall in in picture is just is amazing to see the difference in the writing. We've been using co-writer since the very first uh, version of co-writer, and we have seen some tremendous success with it with our students. We have seen students who have physical limitations because of fine motor skills, aren't able to type as much, so it reduces their, reduces their fatigue, and they're able to produce more work. We have seen students who have behavior issues or language issues. You give them a blank piece of paper, and they're not going to produce anything. But you give them the, some of the uh, word choices where it predicts some words, and they start choosing, and eventually some of them will start using that. They'll just start typing and I don't need that, miss. I don't need that, all those word choices. So we turn it off and we say, fine, just use the word choices when you need it. We have seen students who, because of their spelling, they can't spell their way out of a paper bag. With the flexible spelling, be able to produce work. We have seen a couple of students by using CoWriter whose spelling skills have increased. So CoWriter has really increased. It's got that text-to-speech. It's got the flexible spelling, the phonetics. It has really helped students and made students excited about writing. When we use it during evaluations and we ask students which way do you prefer to do their work, CoWriter wins all the time. So we think CoWriter gets students excited about being able to produce written assignments independently and it produces assignments on grade level skills. We've been using the Don Johnson Start to Finish books and CDs for a number of years now. And this year we used our, some of our stimulus funds to add to our library and to also start to buy the literacy starters. We decided we are a growing school district, we are a large school district, I believe, that we set up our Start to Finish in a library system. So the teachers check out a tub of books whenever they want to have a tub of books. And what we've included in the tub is the paperback books, the CDs, and we've also printed out the teacher materials for the teachers. So when they receive it, they don't have time to go and worry about this. Teachers have enjoyed using these start to finish books because the students are able to read the same novels as their classmates are reading. They're able to either read it as a group with the paperback books, they've been able to read it off the computer, and, able, and uh, able to use the teacher materials. I had a couple teachers who told me how they're using it. Um, they said the students love it. They're, they were reading The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. They're also like it by using the CD to read along with the book pages on the computer. They can even hear the pages as they turn on the screen. I like how I can get a printout of their test on each chapter and get a graph printed out on their progress. So it's nice that the teachers have something to bring to their IEP meetings. This is what your students worked on. Mm -hmm. Another teacher, this is her first year in a resource classroom, and she used the diary of Anne Frank, junior high, which is all the other junior highs are reading. It was a very easy read for my students, but it was detailed enough that they were able to get the story. I like the worksheets and information that came with the books because it helped in pointing out certain aspects of the story and gave vocabulary words to work on along with sample test. And she hopes to continue checking out the books. We started the literacy starters this year. We st started, we got, we did training on them in the fall. Teachers really got excited. They kind of forgot about them because at the beginning of the year you give so much to the teachers. I sent out an email this week, remember about our literacy starters, and we had quite a few teachers request in the libraries that they wanted them immediately in their classroom. So I really like the Start to Finish books because it makes children excited about reading. It allows them to read the grade level books and materials and novels that their friends are reading, and it brings literacy to all of our children because that's what education's about.